following illustration is based upon competition rules used by all jurisdictions. For more information, please consult the relevant rule book or a registered National Federation official or USA Track and Field certified official. We've reached the end of this high jump competition, and now we must determine the order of finish. In doing so, we may encounter ties at various heights and for various places. In those instances, we'll explain how to break those ties. To help with this process, we've determined the best height cleared by each competitor and placed that in the last box to the right of each row. We can see that Lawrence was the only competitor to clear 2.15 meters, so he has earned first place. Klein cleared 2.10 meters as his best height. He's awarded second place. Next, we have three jumpers who have cleared 2.05 meters as their best height, English, Francis, and Johnson. Since we have an apparent tie, we need to invoke the tie-breaking procedure. To break the tie, we'll look at the last height that all three competitors successfully made, in this case, 2.05 meters. The first tie-breaking criteria is the total number of misses at this height. As we can see, Francis and Johnson both had two misses, while English had one. Based on the criteria, English is awarded third place. Since both Francis and Johnson had the same number of missed attempts at 2.05 meters, our next tie-breaking criteria is to look at the total number of missed or failed attempts that each competitor had throughout the competition, up to and including the last made height. As we can see from the failed jumps highlighted in red, Francis had a total of four failed attempts, while Johnson had a total of three. Based on criteria, Johnson is awarded fourth place. Francis is awarded fifth place. Next, we can see that we have two competitors with the same best height of 2.0 meters, Cantor and Irwin. Again, our first criteria is fewer misses at the last height where both were successful, in this case, 2 meters. As we can see, Irwin had two misses, while Cantor only had one. Cantor is awarded the higher place, in this case, sixth. Irwin is awarded seventh place. Only one competitor cleared 1.95 meters. Adams is awarded 8th place. The same is true at 1.90 meters. Davis has earned 9th place. We have three competitors yet to be placed. As we can see, all three cleared 1.80 meters. We use the fewer misses at the last made height criteria to determine placing. Using this first criteria, we see that Hubbard and Baker had the same number of missed attempts at 1.80 meters, in this case 1. We then apply the second criteria, fewer total misses throughout the competition up until the height at which the tie occurs. As we can see, both had a total of one miss throughout the competition coming at 1.80 meters. Since this tie does not involve first place, nor does it involve qualifying for advancement to another round, Hubbard and Baker will be recorded as tying for 10th place. This is indicated by a 10-T. Since there is no 11th place due to the tie for 10th, Grayson is awarded 12th place. Mm -hmm.